Hey everybody, welcome to Komenity University. In our last episode, we learned how silver has the ability to kill germs, and when you break it down to the nanoscale, one billionth of a meter, it's even more toxic and more effective at killing bacteria and fungus. And in that episode, I wanted to know your opinions about our uses of nano silver. It's been about a week and the comments are in. Let's check it out. I bet you thought there was gonna be a letter in there or something. When it comes to nano silver, there's a lot of benefits and a lot of risk, and I wanted to know your opinions. And here they are. Jimmy J132 says that nano silver has a lot of potential if used correctly, so he's going to stay neutral for now. Heath Zayden says, we should do whatever helps the human race survive for the future of our kind. And you know what, I agree. The thing with nano silver, or using anything to fight germs and bacteria, is that with ordinary medicine, germs and bacteria grow resistance. And so far, we don't know if a resistance can be built to nano silver. However, we still have our immune system that does a pretty good job at keeping those germs at bay. So if we depend more on antibiotics, then it may make our immune systems weaker, therefore making us more dependent on germ-killing materials. So that's one thing to think about. Candy Lover 139 says, I knew already about the nano silver socks and underwear, but also know that after you wash clothing a few times, the nano silver is no longer effective. Wouldn't the same exact thing occur if nano silver were used in countertops and doors in hospitals? Well, this is true. There's lots of information regarding the effectiveness of nano silver and clothing and that the nano silver tends to wash away. However, there is very little information about the use of nano silver as a coating as to how long it'll last or if the effectiveness is diminished. This is a very valid concern, especially in places such as hospitals where infection is common. Robert H says, completely understanding that nano silver is most effective, I'm curious to know if wearing a silver necklace, earrings, etc., all the time has any effect in keeping you healthier than someone who doesn't. Having a ring necklace of silver wrapped around your neck all the time would make me think it probably keeps the germs away from the face. Well, that would be cool if silver jewelry could form a germ-fighting protective shield around us, but unfortunately the silver and jewelry doesn't do much unless it's releasing the ions. And the ions are what kills the germs and bacteria. Sometimes ions can be released from silver jewelry um, when it comes in contact with moisture. Now although we don't have a nano silver shield around us at all times, we do have our immune system. Our immune systems are fighting off germs all the time. Theryman73 asks, why wouldn't silver rot the fruit then? Well, that's simple. The oxidation process that happens with silver and germs is different than the oxidation process that happens with fruit. With different types of fruits, there's an enzyme within its tissue known as polyphenol oxidase. And polyphenol oxidase, once it comes in contact with oxygen, will cause the fruit to rot. And the only time it comes in contact with oxygen is if the skin of the fruit is broken. With germs and bacteria, the silver ions, the charged particles, come in contact with the surface of the germ. It'll break down certain enzymes, so the silver ions are stealing electrons away, melting the germs, similar to pouring salt on a slug or on a snail. It's pretty vicious. That concludes our comments and questions about nano silver. Tell me what you think about this video. It's my first time. Uh, directly answering YouTube comments. Uh, if you like it, I'll keep it up. And if you don't, we'll, we'll do something else. I'm Mike Wilson, and thanks for watching Kominati University. I'll see you next time. So silver has lots of uses. The same stuff that's in your earrings or your necklace or your watch is also an effective weapon in the Call of Duty, modern germ warfare.